Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, Miss. How are you? I'm doing fine. And you? Doing great. Happy. Happy because we finish another day. Kind of sad because it's our last day, but it's good. I mean, it's good. It's beneficial for everybody. So it is going to be a nice class. Are you ready for the next module? Yes. Great. So the next one is going to be a little bit more advanced. So you have to be prepared for everything. Yeah. Okay. And preparing our minds. Yes, to continue learning. I mean, that's the best part of this, that you never stop learning. I mean, English, it is, I mean, it's so nice that even in my 18 years of teaching, I have never stopped learning. I mean, you are always learning something new. There is always something to study. And I think it, it is a very nice world. The one yes. that you conquer with English. At the beginning, maybe you, you feel afraid, right? That you feel that, ah, no, it's very difficult. I am not going to make it. I am not going to be able to do it. But then when you start learning and you say like, yeah, you see, it's not that difficult. It's not that complicated. And you end up enjoying it. So I think it, it is a very nice experience. Okay. Yes. So when you started learning English, was it like from zero? You didn't know anything or you knew something before? I started a little bit on, in, in the college, uh -huh. but basic, also the basic. Basic English. Yeah. Yeah, it, it happens, right? That when you are like, yeah, I remember something from, from the university, right? But you, you don't actually remember that much, but. Yes. Then when you start practicing, when you start learning more and more, so. I think it is it is a nice thing that when you start like checking more vocabulary and say like, hey, I didn't know that. So it is it's pretty nice. What about Carlos, Carlos Antonio? Did you know English before or you just learn here? Uh, no, teacher, before. And how how do you say uh, English for the world and uh, in support? Oh, okay. So, yes. uh, so you're wearing in support before? Yes. Aha. Yes. And uh, how uh, same uh, Janet in the in the college? No, no the school. And the in school. The, in the school. Yes. Uh, for example, in 90, 84 to eighty eight <laughs> to eighty six. A uh, long, long time ago. <laughs> oh my! In nineteen eighty, I was born yes. in nineteen eighty. <laughs> uh, I studied English in bachillerato. You studied in high school. Yes, in high school. Yes. Oh, that's in, in university, no, it's no, it's no, uh, it's no necessary in, in this time. Uh, well, uh, in learning in support, no. Oh, so you, so, you, so you learned there. You learned yes. basically at, at Insaforp. Hey, that's very nice. Yes. What about you, Mr. Gerardo? Where did you learn English? And good evening, teacher. Hi. And I, the first is what I learned in this mode. No, 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 no. Right no. now, I am I am asking you another question. Wait, ah, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't oh, get okay. excited. The presentation ah. is in a second. <laughs> we are just okay. waiting for the rest hey. of the students to join. So, hi. Right. Yeah, I mean, he's like, give me my exam. I want to be the first one. Yes. <laughs> no, the first, the first question that I am asking you is that if you knew English before, before coming to Inglés Corporativo, or where did you learn English before? Uh, I learned uh, English uh, first in the school, mm -hmm. and second, 
the academy for English for the 19th. Oh, really? <laughs> and that, and then, and practice with uh, videos in YouTube. Oh, hey, that's nice. So, and then you, you discover uh, English Corporativo, and here we are. Yes, I like uh, watching movie in English and listen music in English. That's pretty for, awesome. For, 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 for educate the ear. The ear, the ear. The ear, for ear. For, uh, I mean, that is to practice listening, right? To practice listening. Good. Thank you, Gerardo, for sharing. What about you, Mr. Adrian? Did you, uh, did you know English before or you just learned here in English Corporativo? Oh, uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hi. and classmate. Uh, before I uh, learned English at the university, at the school, um, at the Duolingo app. Ah, so you downloaded at Duolingo. But that's a very good thing. I mean, Duolingo, it, it's very nice. And it is, it's like, I mean, we're not giving the commercial, right? You are not receiving anything for this commercial, but it's a very good application. All the different apps that you can use to learn English are, are good, right? They help you a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's necessary to practice is uh, in the auxiliary in Duolingo uh, application. Is it is free? <laughs> yes. It's, it's the best. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much for sharing. What about you, Mr. Manuel Villegas? What can you tell us? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, well, um, I only study English in my school, uh -huh. in bachelor, my bachelor. Uh -huh. And I try to use Duolingo app like the friend, but this don't work for me. Oh, really? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, the, the, the app don't work. Didn't work. I, I'm, I'm, uh, huevon. <laughs> I am lazy, you say. I am lazy. Uh -huh, correct. Thanks. Um, and that, and I, I find English Corporativo with my wife. My wife okay. told me, "Hey, it's a it's an online course, and you like to subscribe." And I say, "Yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not?" And is she studying too in English Corporativo? Yes, but hey, she is in another model. In which level? in the first oh cool so my recommendation will be speak only english the two of you even if it's complicating even if you don't understand or if you get like what uh, i don't know try to practice only english at home it is going to be good for you beneficial for your future children if i don't know if you have children already no yes thanks okay. we already tried it and i we usually show her videos and series, 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 series and movies in English. And I, I, we find new, new words and, and something we don't know. Hey, that's very good. Thank you very much for sharing, Mr. Manuel. Mr. Miguel Ramirez, where did you learn English? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, my English is uh, little. Uh, I am uh, study in Duolingo, study in my class. Uh -huh. uh, 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 difficult uh, is so, so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, the idea of English is that it, when it is more difficult, it is when you have to practice the most, right? If it is becoming more and more difficult, you have to practice more and more. I mean, that, that's the basic idea of, of English. That if you say like, no, but it's, it's becoming too, too difficult and everything, practice more, right? It's a moment on which you have to practice more of the language. So... Uh, even when it yes. seems in when it seems very complicated, go ahead and practice, right? That it's the best that you can do. 
even when you say, no, I, I think I am not going to learn. Continue, continue, continue. And don't feel afraid of speaking, right? That is my, my advice. And I'm going to ask one of the last ones so we can start with the presentations. Oh, Mr. Humberto Jaco, where did you learn English? Hey, he disappeared, you see. Ah, no, he's there, he's there. I, I can see you now, go ahead. <laughs> Um, yo inicio, teacher. Voy viniendo. <laughs> no, <laughs> you see, my God. Why do you think the worst of me? I am asking you the question, where did okay. you learn English? If you mm. knew English before, English corporativo, or you learned everything here in English corporativo, or wh what is your story with English? Okay. My story in English, um, I, I uh, start... Uh, always in Isafor, but um, in Unicaes. Ah, in there the, in Santana. Huh? Yeah, when the program um, English for Job. Uh -huh. uh, always in Isafor. And, and after, after pan, no, después, mm -hmm. sí, after pan, pandemic. After uh, the pandemic, uh -huh. after mm -hmm. the pandemic, um, uh, the the, the, the factory, um, or nos, nos, como diría nos. What, what is the idea? Um, the nos chain que, nos, nos cambió. Ah, they, uh, the factory changed us. Ah, okay, the factory changed us to the English corporativo. Oh, um, well, that's very nice. Yeah, in, in, ingles, eh, in English corporativo, Start in always in the middle, number one, uh -huh. two, in, in, in this moment. In and three. now that you are in number three. Good. Yeah. So uh, you pre, see. Pre intermediate. You are in pre, pre intermediate, right? Pre intermediate. Wait, I think there are only four or five. I think it's only four pre intermediate. So you're missing only one, and then you go to intermediate, and then advance, and then the world, the universe, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You're going to conquer everything. And Miss Nubia, go ahead. Where did you learn English? Thank you, Humberto. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Uh, I have only studied in English Corporativo, six modules uh, from. Principiante, from beginner, uh huh. Uh, really, it's hard for me. I imagine, right? But uh, you see, you are doing your best. You are here. You finish. You are speaking in English, and that is the best part of everything. I know. Okay. okay. Uh huh. I, I am, I don't know if it's my internet or I cannot listen to Nubia. Can you listen to Nubia? No. Yeah. I am here, I am here. I am back. Hey, I am back, I am back. <laughs> Sorry, I am back. Okay. Y ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud, okay? <laughs> Lo notaron, verdad? <laughs> I am here, listening to Okay. Y ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud. Okay. <laughs> Lo notaron, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, that's the secret of happiness. If you didn't write it, I'm very sorry. Okay, so uh, my camera, it's 
giving me difficulties to connect, but I, maybe it's going to fix in a second. Well, so uh, I was listening to Ms. Nubia that, uh, yeah, you lost the secret. I'm very sorry. But we were listening to, to her story that in some cases it was difficult to, to learn English. And that was everything that I could listen hmm, because of my internet connection. Thank you, internet provider. I appreciate that. So sorry, Ms. Nubia, that I just interrupted you. Well, my dear students, we're going to go and we're going to start uh, the presentations. Well, my camera doesn't want to work, but I am, I am here, okay? I am here listening to all of you. And as Mr. Gerardo wanted to be the first one, he's going to be the first one. And ah, you don't want to be the first one anymore. Yes, Mr. Gerardo? Okay, start with want... my presentation. Okay, Mr. Gerardo is going to be the first one uh, to present. So the stage okay. is all yours. Okay, thank you, teacher. Go ahead. The first, what I'm learning in this model is now who to use other and adjective. Uh -huh. Use the common helps, complaints, and the others tend to do enjoy the most. Number three, what I'm what the most difficult. The most difficult part of the model is was completing the platform in the short time. I would say tell you, hurry, hurry. Number four, expectation for the next model. My expectation for the next model is have a good teacher like the one we have actually. And that I can learn more is that I can to get my wish is to speak English. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, really, I, I really appreciate your words. Thank you very much for uh, for everything that you mentioned. I know completing the platform in a very short time, it's kind of complicated sometimes, but it's the, it is necessary that you go along and you advance a little bit more uh, when you have the time. And it is going to help you to, to, I mean, to avoid these situations of having to finish everything faster. And I am sure that you are going to have a fantastic teacher on the next okay. module. Thank you okay. very much, Gerardo. Okay, the second one. Uh, we had a volunteer here that wants to be the second one. Mr. Humberto Jaco, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Okay, good evening teacher, good evening class. Also reaching and learning new words to knowledge. Learn English is a good idea. It's not easy forever. I had I had taught taught to retire sometimes, but I consider because on this time is very import, important in our <laughs> area. For this reason is for this reason I should continue in to take advance for the opportunities given us in support and continue her. When, when I work, uh, is a second, I keep up. <laughs> when I work, when I work in the platform ending with a headache, it's sometimes helpful to drink a cup of coffee. Even if the coffee is a good idea, that the best option is take an aspirin. When the class is finished, I'm going to sleep because I'm tired. tired. Uh, thanks, teacher, for all her laps, help, help to us, and God bless you. Thanks. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> you end up with a headache after finishing the platform. Um, yeah, but it's going to be beneficial in the future. It's going to be beneficial for the future, okay? You will yeah. see. Algún día volverá atrás y se recordará de este momento aquí juntos todos y va a decir, ¡Eh! me acuerdo que hay grandes dolores de cabeza, pero han valido la pena. Okay, that's yes. very good. Good, <laughs> good, good, good. Excellent job. Let's see, let's continue here. We are going to go with, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. I begin by saying that this has been one of the modules in which I have had a wonderful time learning with you and from you. Listening to every their pronunciation, etc. All that motivates motivates me to keep moving forward. Going into detail in this module, I was able to learn how to use adverbs properly. Placing them before the adjective is in adjective in sentences to describe places, for example, uh, the vocabulary to express common illness illness and how to request help for an offer in when uh, commending medication uh -huh. how to express that we agree or disagree with use uh, with you the use of saw to either or neither and to and of course, the topic seen in the fourth and the fifth in the fifth lessons, mainly regarding to comparison of places using adverbs, uh, adjectives, sorry, as well as distance and measurements, and the use of e ing for the present progressive, as well as going going to to make plans in the near future. Finally, I want to say that I hope to continue learning with you. Thanks for all this. Okay, thank you very much, Janet. I have really, really, really enjoyed every single time, every single class with all of you. Thank you for being so punctual, so responsible and being always participating. I mean, that is going to make a difference in all the coming modules that we have. Excellent. Thank you, Janet. Thank you very much. Who is going to be the next one? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Uh... I enjoyed this model. Uh, I reserved the classes. Well, um, it is a lot of fun to learn to language uh, with you, teacher. Uh, the difficulty for me was the final exam. Uh, question little e in using tell and ask for message. Uh, help me on WhatsApp to answer. Um, my opinion is the platform is good. Uh, is it is not difficult. Uh, I'm waiting for the next model to continue uh, learning, uh, practicing every day. Uh, what I have a, a learning and. Um, and it mentions that the starting a uh, English corporative in the first module of learning. It is a plus for uh, my education. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, definitely. English is a total plus for everybody's education. And for sure, if you learn English, your job opportunities are going to be better and better every single time. So Congratulations, and it was a very, very good uh, job, the one that you did. You see, you were very confident at the moment of speaking, right? 
se puso más nervioso cuando me contó lo de cómo aprendí inglés. Yes. But it was good. It was very good. Very nice. Way to go. Very good. Who is going to be next? Who's the next one? It's raining really hard right here. Next, next, next. Should I choose it? Carlos, your turn. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Mr. Carlos, go yeah. ahead. In the, uh, in the whole, I learning the uh, use of the adjective before, uh, sorry, uh, adverb before adjective. And use the, use the suit why, use the neither, neither, and, and conjunction, different conjunction, I am bad. Uh, and we use this. Uh, this is work and, and for example uh, the would I or I may I And different, but in the present progressive and future progressive, uh, sometimes I have a different uh, uses. It's a problem. In my mind, is a uh, translate. First, and so I have this problem. I think the structure, the structure, uh huh, the structure. for the man to uh, understand the situation. So, but this the English because, because it's important because, um, for example, I work in Maquila. In this moment, uh, make a, a one, how do you say, uh, uh, work in the Adidas, t-shirt, shorts, pants, everything, the Adidas. So in China, Vietnam, and other countries, India or other countries, No cree. Creo que se nos fue la luz ahí con, con Mr. Carlos. The recording. <laughs> yeah, it's because as it is raining too hard. Uh, it, it is very complicated <laughs> with the internet and all that. So, but yeah, you, are, you, you, were, you were telling me that you are working with Adidas and that you are making shirts and, and, yeah. and clothes and all that. That's what uh, I listened. Yes. Uh, so, uh, thank you, teacher for your recommendation, study every every uh, every day. In this case, I listen to music, people end up with uh, Spotify, and uh, for example, uh, song in English and, and put the uh, karaoke. It's, uh, and so I read the, 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 the truth of the, the music. Only teacher. Okay, very good job. 
It is very good that you actually read the lyrics, right? When you start singing lyrics, songs and exactly. all that. Yeah, read the lyrics so you can actually know and understand the message of the song, right? You are not going to be just repeating like a little parakeet, but if you read the, mm -hmm. the lyrics, then you have the opportunity to actually check and understand the message of the song. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good idea. Thank you very much, Mr. Carlos Antonio. Who is next? Go ahead. Uh, I have learned vocabulary for common health problems and infinite, infinite complements that are used to give suggestions, such as modal verbs. They can, call, may, have, try, suggest, or show. Also, the use of so, so to, neither, and neither. Um, besides that, the use of going to. In general, I think I think that that I have learned more vocabulary and pronunciation. I know uh, it's hard, but I know I can do it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I loved, oh, thank you, my friend. Even, <laughs> even God is clapping you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I love the phrase, uh, I know it's hard, but I can do it, right? I know it's hard, I know it's difficult, but I, I can do it. I remember one time when I was at the university, it was the fourth year of the university and I was working and everything and I had one job at Unicaes, another job at the university. I had another job here and I said, I don't want to continue studying anymore. I don't want to go to the university anymore. But I, I was sad that the next day I was not going to go. But at, over the night, I remember and I said, I am in fourth year. I have been in the university for four years and I am going to stop right now. Nah, one extra effort. And you see, I didn't know and I had the opportunity. Thank you, God. Thank you. <laughs> God likes this message. And if, if I had quit at that moment, maybe I, I couldn't have had all the opportunities that I have had in my life. So it is difficult, but it's going to be totally worth and beneficial, okay? So great, thank you, Nubia, thank you. Who is next? Briselda, thank you very much. Good night. Good evening, Carlon. Good day. Hey, you are sending us something. <laughs> Sorry. It's no raining no. right now. Yeah, here it's raining too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in this model, I learned a lot of important things. Uh, things that I didn't know. And I, the part where I most enjoyed were the classes because my teacher always made it fun. And it is very interesting. The most difficult part to me was the final exam. I think there was a little thoughtful about some topic yet. Or oh, do I hope to know how to solve in the next model? Yeah, sometimes it's so hard and tired to try with the classes, work and home, but I do it thinking about my future and i'm grateful grateful for this opportunity uh, and for the teach us <laughs> in the form that you teach us thank you okay thank you thank you very much for your nice words I know that in some cases having everything at the same time, like the school, the house, all the work and all the things that we are doing, it is very complicated, but thank God you have been able to manage everything and you are here with us closing another module, imagine. 
<laughs> yes. Excellent. Thank you very much, Briselda. Okay, who is next? Who's next? Let me see. Mr. Miguel Ramirez, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Hello, go ahead. Uh, I learned uh, point two, I learned card, uh, and, um, present is, I learned it. so, so. Okay, what, what was the most difficult part of this module? Repeat, teacher. What was the most difficult part of this module? The most difficult in the class is vocabulary. Yes. And in the platform? Uh, complete the argument. And the exam uh, part four and five. And uh, what do you expect for the next module? For this teacher. What do you expect for the next module? Oh. Yes. What what do you want from the next teacher? Oh, next I teacher. Mean, because... yeah. What? Okay. The idea is the following. If you say for the next module, I want to have a lot of vocabulary. I want the classes to be interactive. I want the teacher to be committed to English. And I want to learn more. So that's what you expect from the next teacher. So what do you expect from the next teacher? Oh, uh, I am vocabulary, most nivel, uh, and practice, practice, practice. Okay. For, uh, practice, practice, and practice. Hey, that's good, that's good. That's really nice. Well, Mr. Miguel, thank you very much. Thank you. Evelyn Mariela, go ahead. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello. I'm having trouble with my internet, so that's why my cam my cam is off. Don't worry, uh, don't worry. In this mall, I learned new vocabulary. I I learned how to to difference the dip, uh, no how I learned the different types of, of container I didn't know that so I know uh, I now I know I learned how to use adverbs how to use uh, can can the correct pronunciation of that I enjoy your class is very interactive so i think always uh, uh, all of us always be attend or uh, because you can uh, you can ask for one thing at, at the moment so it you it, the class is very very interesting I, for the next small, I expect to continue improving my English, uh, continue learning new vocabulary, to practice, and maybe don't be a lot of time because I'm nervous right now. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I don't know. I'm trying to do my best. So. Okay, so don't, don't worry, it's okay. And it is normal, it is normal to get nervous. And there is a very good phrase in Spanish, 
si no te da ni siquiera un poquito de miedo, entonces ni lo intentes. Uh, it's very good because in my, uh, at my work, I, uh, every day I uh, write uh, emails in English because I, I work al, in, in logistics. And uh, now it's too com it's like confused that I have too shy to express in English when I always uh, write emails in English. <laughs> in English. So, okay, that's yeah. Why I it doesn't mean for my English and maybe don't be too shy all the time of oh, speak with with somebody. Hey, that's very good. It is it is difficult to take something from writing to reality and to speaking, right? Because in some cases you read something and you say, yeah, I understood. Yeah, I got it. I know the idea. But at the moment of saying something and when you are able to do it and you say like, wait, I, I express my idea. So I think it is a next level on block. And, it, it, and you did it, right? You did it. And, and it is very nice. Thank you very much. Very, very, very much. So reactions, please, for Evelyn. And Manuel, go ahead. Mr. Manuel. Uh -huh. He disappeared. Hey, hey, where are you? Okay, you see Manuel, Manuel, Mr. Manuel. Ah, there he is. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, right. teacher. It starts raining so hard and the, the light come and over, come and over. <laughs> yeah, it, it is the same right here. That's why I am always, I am constantly looking out because I have the window right next and imagine if I have a lighting like. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Go okay. ahead, go Thanks. ahead. Okay. Mr. Manuel. Okay. And I have enjoyed, enjoyed it, being able to have the opportunity to learn with excellent and appropriate material. I appreciate the opportunity to have a platform where I can review the class and be able to put what I have learned to the test. Even though sometimes and only sometimes I forgot to go in and fill out the lesson. Thanks for the instructor in charge of English Corporativo for reminding me to come and fill it out. I want to thank you, teacher, for having the patience and time to help each one of us and encourage you to practice and not just fill out and complete the section by completing. I am excited to be able to continue in the following models and to be able to overcome my fear of speaking English. Yay! To overcome your fear of speaking English. Congratulations, Mr. Manuel. What a nice speech. Very nice words. The ones that you shared with everybody. And I have done my best in order to motivate you to, to always push you a little bit. Sorry if I was like kind of pushy sometimes. Lo siento si de repente en algunos días estaba ahí como, hey, 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 apúrense, hagámoslo, hagámoslo, hagámoslo. But it, it, is, it is good, it is necessary in some cases. So, eh, in sometimes we forget and we say like, ah, oh, yes, uh, we need to do it, we need to work. And sorry if I was pushing you sometimes, but it is the best that I can do. Right, to be like, eh, recuerden llenar la plataforma, recuerden avanzar, avancemos, avancemos, avancemos. It's like, like the little kids, right? That you have to be pushing. But it is, it is necessary and it is the best of, of this, right? Of being part of, of your growing. Eh, important things for the next modules. Um, try to start uh, avoiding the fact of translating. Right. If you start avoiding the fact of translating everything here and then to express it and then to say like, oh, yeah, what's the meaning of this? What is the meaning of that? And then you think twice. So you take longer to answer. Uh, try to go and express the idea, but try to organize your work, your words first. Right. And if you practice as much as possible uh, in the tactic that I gave you uh, some days before, you can record voice notes. Right you can record voice notes on whatsapp right just for you to practice every single day every single day okay uh the journal also llevar un diario ahí no un diario personal okay querido diario hoy lo vi ah, so handsome no 
uh, just to keep a journal of your day, right? What did you do? The activities that you did during the day, the different things that you uh, had to cover, important things for the next day. You can cover there. It's like uh, tomorrow I have many things to do. I am doing this and this tomorrow. I have to complete that. So those are things that can help you a lot, right? To write in English and then you can read it and then you can practice uh, every single day, okay? But the idea of the recording, it's very good. Well, uh, remember pronunciation of a specific words like enjoyed. I enjoyed the module, you say. I enjoyed the module. I learned a lot. I thought about quitting, right? Pensé. I thought about um, the platform, right? Working in the platform, you say. The pronunciation of similar works like those. So, um, in general, in general, what can you mention that uh, give, gave you difficulties when using the platform? ¿Qué fue lo que más le dio problema o que fue, bueno, por ejemplo, en los últimos exámenes, que por ejemplo, Carlos creo que fue el que mencionó que el último examen le había costado y, y, y por qué? Ajá, uh -huh. why? For me, teacher, only, only in the in the final exam and tell and ask. Ah, okay, tell and ask. Good. What only, else? Only that. The, the other one is 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 okay. Don't problem. Okay. <laughs> For me. Very good. Someone else. I think uh, the platform uh, sometimes is um, confused because uh, we need to, to pay very too much attention in the in the indi indications 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 and to to can to do the the the. Mm, the the job in the in the in the platform because sometimes we confused uh, some some things and we say oh but I th I thought it, it's is of this or this form and we need to to record or or review the video to to refresh. <laughs> Refresh our ideas, and I, 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 I learned it on, on on the 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 others modules, and uh, on these times I I say I know if something no no uh, no 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 what. <laughs> uh, it didn't work if, if something if something doesn't work, work uh -huh, or it didn't work uh -huh. if, if if something di didn't work um i i i try other forms okay yeah it is important that you can also keep track of what you do if you try an exercise in the platform and it was not correct then you can just write the answers, right? Write the answers that you got for you to improve on the next one, right? Maybe you are not going to get the answer on the platform, but you can consult and say, hey, I have difficulties with this. And it is very good that in the WhatsApp group, you can actually uh, consult that with your friends and your friends were like very fast uh, in order to help you. And also I was very pendant there to, to help anybody who, who needed. Someone else who had uh, issues with, with the final exam, with the platforms, with any specific topic that we studied? We have one volunteer, tell and ask. <laughs> any other topic that you say, hey, that was very difficult? Teacher, uh -huh. uh, I think it's difficult with the platform is the use uh, dot comma and the space in the word uh -huh. uh, is is the regular um, difficult things and the open 
answer. Uh, yes. For example, for me, uh, is this is the only problem is the platform. Okay, yeah, that's a very, very common mistake. We need to be very careful. And this is for the next module. You have to keep it in mind, right? To keep track of every single details, the commas, the periods, the spaces, the capital letters. Why? Because English, far from being a necessary to know the grammar and the listening and everything, the punctuation is very important. Punctuation in English, it's very, very crucial. So we need to keep that in mind, right? To keep track of the punctuation. Why? Because as the English doesn't have a stress marks, okay? En el inglés no hay acentos. Tenemos que cuidar un montón la puntuación. Tanto cuando hablamos, cuando leemos, cuando escribimos. Because it is going to give the idea of the messages. So thank you very much, Adrián. Any other one who has problems with something specific? or any specific topic. If not, we're going to go over the review of the topic that Umberto asked. Just for us to keep in mind and for you to remember the last topic that we started, tell and ask. The main difference of this one, right? The main difference of this one is that tell is to give what? Statements or requests. statements. Ha, statements. Statements are the ones that you can use just to give a message, right? Solo para dejar un recado. Ese es el significado de statements, recados, right? And uh, the other one, when you use ask, you use for request. And requests are pedidos or peticiones. And in peticiones, for sure, you are going to wait for the other person to do something for you. Because imagine if you say, hey, tell teacher Nati to explain the topic again. Okay, díganle teacher Nati. Okay, please ask teacher Nati to explain the topic again. And you say like, oh, okay. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que esperamos? Que teacher Nati explique el tema. Because you ask for it. Okay, but if you just tell me, Hey, tell teacher Nati that she needs to explain the topic. Okay. And you're just going to tell, and I'm going to say like, oh, okay, I need to do it. But if you say, hey, teacher, I want to ask you please to explain the topic again. And then that is going to be a request. But what about this one? Imagine this one, please ask Juanito to make dinner. Please ask Juanito to make dinner because I am at work right now. So Juanito has to make dinner. Please tell Martin that we're going to go skiing tomorrow. Right? That it's a statement. If you say, for example, eh, tell my mother that I have a headache. I have a headache. Tell my mother. Okay, tell Susie that she doesn't have to forget the jacket because it is very cold here in El Salvador, it's raining. <laughs> Can you ask the doctor to give you some medicine because we have, what is the health problem? Stomach ache. We stomach have a stomach ache. Stomach ache. Diarrhea. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, please. Please, okay, could you please ask Janet to uh, meet me at the hair salon? I am going to be doing my hair there. Yes. I'm going to be doing my hair in the hair salon. So, Janet, please meet me at the hair salon. Please tell Carlos that we are going to go skiing tomorrow. I inline skating tomorrow. We're going to go skating. Uh, teacher. Yes. I need to be. And, and in. In this case, um, I understand to use to use ask. Uh -huh. um, after after word ask is uh, user the word to. Uh -huh. But in in the case the tell, uh -huh. I I don't understand when I when I use the that and and the. Okay, that it is a. Optional. You can use or not use that. 
It is recommendable that you use it, but it is not really necessary, right? In all the sentences, it is not very necessary. And I am going to give you the examples that I have right here. And I have it right there. Okay. After uh, the word, let me show it to you. And I have it right here. After tell, you say, please tell, and then you are going to have the subject. Please tell Janet that. And then you use the sentence, right? The meeting is tomorrow. The concert is going to be at seven, right? You are going to have, please, la palabra tell. De ahí tiene que poner el sujeto. En este caso, eh, la persona a la que se está refiriendo. Please tell eh, Nubia that. ¿Puede ponerlo o no lo puede poner? Please tell Nubia the meeting is tomorrow at 7 in the morning. Or please tell Nubia that the meeting is tomorrow at 7 in the morning. And the meeting is going to be the same. But if okay. I say, please ask Nubia to call me. Please ask Nubia to come. Please ask Janet to uh, check WhatsApp. Please ask Gerardo to cook dinner. Okay, después de ask, you are going to have the subject and an infinitive. Please ask okay. Humberto to repeat the sentence. Okay, y esa va a ser la estructura que vamos a seguir. Si decimos, yeah. ask him, ask her, ask Nati, ask the teacher to call me, to go, to cook, to bring, whatever. If I show you this one, for example, and this one is, uh, this one is uh, Briselda. Please ask Janet to come to visit Briselda at the hospital. She is right here. Okay, she is here. I'm sick. <laughs> yeah, she is sick, you see. Please tell Nubia to clean the garden because it's very dirty. Please Sorry. tell Nubia to clean the garden because it's very dirty. What yeah. sentence, what sentence can you make with this picture? Invent Rain. one sentence. The ask to, to uh, Nubia, uh, she has the the umbrella. Uh -huh. Can you fix the sentence? Please ask Nubia. To wear the, the, the umbrella because it's raining. Okay. Is it another verb that we can use instead of wear? Bring. Bring. Very good. Bring. Please tell Nubia to bring the umbrella because here in pre intermediate three, it's raining. Let's see. Let's use another one, one before we go. What about this one? What sentence can we create with this one? Please ask Carlos to feed the cat. Hey, very good. Please ask Carlos to feed the cat because the cat is very hungry, right? Let me see. I am going to show you another one. Mr. Humberto, create one sentence for this one. Please tell to Carlos. Please um, tell Carlos. Please, please tell Carlos. Um, to? How old is to the laundry. <laughs> to the okay, laundry. To the laundry. <laughs> ah, you see, you have very good friends. They are always helping you. They are always helping you. Please tell yeah, very Carlos. Very easy on the laundry. <laughs> yeah, when you use the machine. <laughs> Carlos, in, 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 in this case, <laughs> it's for the laboratory. <laughs> I, yes. Uh, yes. Let's see. Very easy. Only put the. How do you say it? The soap. The soap. <laughs> the soap. <laughs> Uh, uh, and, and, other, and that's it, right? The, the soft. 
When the sun. The softener. The softener. Yes. Teacher, uh, then, then we, we use ask. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, we use ask in request. Yes, in and request. We use in, in request. Yes. And we use tell in statement. Yes. Okay. Para dejar un recado, please tell. Please tell. Please tell Adrián that we are going to go dancing tomorrow. Right? Dancing. Dancing, right? Please, uh, please, 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 tell to, please tell to dancing. No, you say, remember that we, we tell you, say, look, please tell to. No, please oh. tell Adrian oh, that okay. we are going to go dancing tomorrow. Okay. Could you ask Pedrini to make dinner? And that's the way we use it, okay? So these are like very, very short examples and I hope I have clarified this. Remember, ask para dejar un recado donde alguien tiene que hacer algo en respuesta, que me llame, que venga, que traiga, que haga, and tell for just the message, okay? That's the main idea of this. Well, my dear students, time flies when you're having fun. My goodness. Uh, it's time to go. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go, but it is it is time. Well, uh, my best appreciation for everybody. Continue working very hard. I feel very proud that I had the opportunity to, to be with you. And I hope to continue seeing you in the next modules, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Continue teacher. working. Thank you, teacher. Think in okay, English. Thank you, okay. Teacher. Think in English. And if you need if you need anything, if you need help, then you have my contact number. Don't doubt on sending me a message. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. Thank have you. a beautiful thank night. You. And I am going to see you in the next class. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. Thank you. In the next module. In the next module. In the next module. Bye bye. Yeah, in the next module. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Take care. Thank you.